What's going on, Swill Gang? All right, so we got another update here for Last Fortress Underground. Before we get into that, guys, 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 I need you guys to do one me, one thing for me and just do me a quick solid. Make sure you guys are liking the video. That's it. Like it and share it if you can. Subscribe if you haven't. And that is pretty much it. All right, so with this update here, guys, we got the 1.331.001. All right, now, it doesn't look like it's a lot of stuff, but just looking at the read, everything looks like it jumbled up a little bit here. So it might be pretty good. I'm not really sure. So we're going to check it out right now. All right. So with the new text, they got three new branches of text, mutual assistance, basic rally and siege battle. All right. The siege texts are only available for uh, season two and later seasons. Deploy queues now have an attribute morale. It will be affected by uh, thwarting invaders, thwarting invaders, weakening defense in the siege battle text. And the initiative of morale is 100 points. The, uh, the change in the morale will affect all heroes, damage bonus, damage mitigation, and the deploy queue. When the deploy queue returns to the fortress, the morale will be fully restored to its initial value. Now, let me know what you guys are thinking about this. I think this might be kind of okay. I'm not gonna say it's great. Now, if you're like me or some other people, they like to keep their, their, uh, their trucks out. Like, I like to keep my trucks out gathering. I like to keep my trucks out while I'm doing my... Uh, when I'm getting the red and blue ores on the on the map, I like to keep my trucks out. So are you trying to say that the morale is going to go boost uh, boost it down because they're not going to do they're not going to do that much damage because the morale is low? That's what it sounds like to me. All right, me personally, I'm in the middle of the road of this one. This might be a good thing and it might be a bad thing. It's going to be more towards the bad, I think, but not terrible. It's not going to be a game changing. Um, I don't think it's going to like make it towards too bad where you can't play the game. All right, so I think that's okay. But the battle text, you know, more researches, everything like that, that's really good. So I'm gonna check that out too because I haven't been in, in, in the game yet. Just literally just logged on. All right, so they got a major update of Alliance Shop. And I think they mentioned this last week. I don't think every server had this announcement, but my main server had it. So now it's on this server too. All right, so new weekly special. In the first season, there will be a weekly uh, special that offers you a Chiro Fujiwara Kenogawa shard is available. Different servers is different. Different um, heroes too, by the way. I think. I think I believe I've seen some other heroes that are gone there. But that's fine. Um, let me see. After the first season, Chiro Ken will be available. Will be changed to some purple S level fragments you can choose from. There will also be a faction recruitment ticket and Z coins. That sounds kind of cool. Uh, contribution exchange adjusted. And the contribution exchange, the Harmon shard has been changed to Harmon fragment. With the weekly output of 25, rewards will no longer be unlocked based on the Alliance level, but the season instead. Hmm. After the update, the remaining goods in the shop will be converted into Alliance points of equal value. Make sure to restock and share the news with your Alliance members. Uh, the above changes can only be accessed with this latest version, of course, 1.331.001. So make sure you guys are updating. Um, of course, the fraudulent a fraudulent thing and the upcoming seasons of war adjusted what is this about? all right so registration for season of war and relevant changes during the season of wars matching period players will be able to create disband join or leave alliances what uh, during the six hours from the completion of the matchmaking of the initial start of the storyline mode players will not be able to disband or leave alliances there will be a dimension limit when joining alliances uh, starting from season of war the night before war event will not offer any ranking buffs for a uh, for either individuals or alliances updated zane transfers in the season of war or in later seasons starting from season of war players will not be able to transfer to several top zones whenever they try to transfer to another zone okay i'm okay with that i'm not transferring period so it is what it is so this doesn't affect me. But people ask me that question all the time about transferring. Honestly, guys, I don't know. I've never transferred. And honestly, I, I, I don't plan on transferring. So this is a question I will never in life be able to answer this one. I apologize in advance. So sorry for the inconvenience. But I just, I'll never transfer to another server. I'll, I'll literally just start another game, which I will not do that either. So it's just not happening for me. Um, the top zones now refer to... A fixed number of zones instead of the zones ranking top 20% among certain zones. 
what? Top zones now refer to a mixed number of zones instead of zones ranking from top 20% among certain zones. Okay, whatever. Uh, commanders whose highest record or recorded power is 25% lower than that of the top 10 commanders in the same zone can transfer to the top zones. Okay. So it means I can, I'm, I can transfer wherever. Ha <laughs> uh, ha! Reduce the transfer cost uh, starting from Season of War. Okay. So it says the above change can be accessed when this uh, 1.332001 July 3rd or later versions. Okay, so I guess July 3rd, which I think is next week or so, is going to come up with this new update, which is cool. All right, so we got some stuffs here. So let's check out these other things. All right. So we got the, the new alliance text here. And let me see. Attack and defense. It looks like they moved everything around. So everything you have completed, they move it down to the bottom. Because like Tech 101, Forge Upgrades, Lineup Boost, all those were up at the top. But since they're completed, it looks like they move them to the bottom, which is great. I guess we don't get anything else. I got two research cues. So if you guys haven't got those two research keys, cues, it's actually pretty good. Um, they got attack defense, mutual assistance, and siege battle. And then they have, looks like rally enhancement and basic rally. So those are new. Basic rally. Let's unlock this one. So power acceleration. Movement speed will be increased in the rally. Okay. So I don't know if that's if it's increased in the rally, meaning we it, to, to, to take us to the rally. I don't know. So we'll see what that is, what that offers when we do a rally. Once we get that unlocked, then we'll, we'll do a check on that. So we got mutual assistance and siege battle. So mutual assistance, reinforced site, improve the durability of the fortress construction site. Fast response, increase the construction teams travel when reinforcing the other. Oh, that's actually pretty good. So if your 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 teammates about to get rallied, you just go in there and help them out a little bit. Uh, commando spear when reinforcing other fortresses or construction sites, increase the attack of commandos. That's kind of nice. Archer, our bless. So that's the same thing. That's for the archers, and this is for the defensives. Then we got the armors for all of them. Reinforce site two. Okay, commanders, commandos will. We're forcing the fortress or construction sites increase hit points. All right, then you got the archers, then you got the defensive, you got the larger site. Number of reinforcement teams your construction site can receive. Nice. Boosted blast when reinforcement team at your fortress engaged in battle. You and your battle or soldiers have higher attack when joining battle right after it. Wow, so that's like a little buff you get. All right, so let me see. Make allies and increase aid limit. Those are pretty cool, I ain't gonna lie. So we got siege battle, let's unlock that one. Let's see, fast response. Let's see when heading to the city to be stationed there, travel speed increases. Okay, we got fast travel when heading to a city not yet occupied by your alliance, travel speed increases. We got unstoppable. Backlash commandos, fully secured, fire suppression. Wow, these are okay. Proactive strike, rally teams are heading toward city. Increase the travel speed of the teams in the rally. That's pretty cool. So it's all about speed, basically, for the most part. When garrisoned in a city, some dead soldiers can be turned into grievously wounded ones. What? That's nice. Charging four when attacking city, some dead soldiers can be turned into grievously wounded ones. That's nice too. So you don't lose as many soldiers. Okay. So wait, let me go back. Thwarting invaders. When garrison in a city, each battle will reduce the enemy troops' morale by five. Um, effective when you have a hundred soldiers at the beginning of the battle, all morale reducing effects will be stackable or are stackable. And then you got ready to fight. When rally teams are heading toward the city, you may choose to depart right away when the teams are full. Okay, that's nice. Those are nice. Then we got attack and defense. Oh, that's not new. I already got this one already, hold on. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna probably go with the reinforced site. So we'll go with that now. So when it comes time for the the research day, that should be good to go. All right, so we'll have a lot of these things already completed here, but this is pretty cool, honestly. 
I, I always definitely like having the researches because I hate when everything is completed. When it was for a while, I couldn't I couldn't do any researches. I couldn't contribute any points. But now we're good to go, guys. But if you guys are enjoying this update or if you guys haven't even played the game and you guys are wondering, hey, should I come back and play this game? Yeah, I mean, I would say if you like the game before or if you quit for a reason, then that reason hasn't changed. I'm sure it's going to be whatever it is, whatever. Um, but I'm not going to knock you for quitting the game because it's not... <laughs> It's not the same like it used to be, guys. It has a lot of changes on here. It, I think it's kind of worth checking out, but I don't think it's really worth investing in. Let me put it that way, all right? It's good to play with some friends. If you have friends that play, then you're good to go. If not, then it is what it is. Do what you gotta do. But either way, guys, as always, keeping it real with Uncle Swill. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.